and thank you for coming back to step two. Did you notice something? I changed my sun to orange. That's what's great about painting. You can change your mind and do anything that you want to do with the painting. I added more clouds, more clouds, thicker here, and then I smooth out the bottom. Take the brush, right? You dry your brush, dab your brush off where it's not wet. Come and pull that, and you'll have that effect on the bottom. I did not want to do the palm tree, so I thought, hmm. So this is what I got. I got gold, white, and some dark brown. So with the gold, kind of making like a beach area. I thought that was really cool. That's how I'm kind of seeing this picture. I already put that down. Now I'm going to come in with a flatter brush. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to do this. It's still a little damp, which is good. That's what I want. I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull that and make sure my brush is a little wetter. I'm going to pull that. There you go. You can see that, right? And I'm going to pull that out. Clean up that edge. Make it like a little smoother. Oh, it's working very good. Great. Great. And remember, folks, if you get any paint on the side, alcohol, rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip, you can come right in and uh, do any of the touch-ups because this is vinyl. So we pour this out. And also, hello, everyone. I hope you're really all doing well and feeling good. Can't wait with this picture. I'm really happy about this coming out. See, with a wet brush, I pulled that. I smoothed the edge out. There. I want it like that. Now, I'm going to rinse out the brush. And I'm going to come in with all right, some white. Right along the shore line here. And then I'm going to smooth that out. And of course, more towards the area by me. That's it. I'm going to smooth that out like this. And a little thinner going up here. Dab your brush. Just dab all that paint off. Okay. And then you're going to Take a little and you're going to pull that out. See the edge? Just going to pull that out like that. I'm going to pull this out just like this. Oh, I love it. This is more like a beach foam in here. Closer to you, this should be wider. Okay, pulling that out. Okay, same brush. But we dabbed it off, so it's more like a dry brushing. Oh boy, that looks wonderful. Looks really good. Pull that up right over there. Oh, that looks fabulous. Let me tilt the chair a little bit like this. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it took me a time to kind of think what I wanted to do, but this is definitely what I wanted to do with this. Now, I'm going to rinse my brush. Okay, same brush I was using. And I like my waves, like I do my clouds. Okay, a little thicker in here. All right. Have that. Make sure your brush isn't too wet. The little corners up here. I like the way I pulled back. It looks great. Dabbing off my brush. That's it. 
happen that through. All of this is coming up to the shore. So you would have that thicker here. Okay, dab your brush again. Oh, that's so beautiful. And pull that back out. Well, let's go this way so you can see with the camera. You pull that out like this. Beautiful. Well, I am so happy with this furniture. And it's so much fun. Look at that. Beautiful. So again, I got my sun. I did it orange. And if you notice, I came across right here with a little cloud going this way and down. Again, thicker, white, dabbed, and then came in. Okay, wipe the brush off, same brush, and then you come in. It's like dry. All you're doing is like a dry painting in here. Lighter here, darker up here, and basically the same thing we have here. Let me just put a little dab right, just a tiny bit, running that straight out like that. Beautiful. Go with your two-tone like this with a little brown because again nature nothing solid and now I'm very very happy with this picture okay I love the painting and again so my folding table and if I wanted to come in with something right along the back I probably won't but you could if you wanted to so this is my second folding chair and this one over here is the first one I did. Thank you for joining me, friends. So don't be nervous about ever taking an older piece of furniture. Paint it any way or anything that you want to paint on it. Well, thank you so much and join me on the next video. We'll do another one and I'm not sure what, but we'll have fun. Thank you again, friends. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.